We had an awesome conflict de-escalation workshop this past Friday, the 27th, down at Ginghamsburg Church in uh, Tip City, Ohio. Just wanted to take a few moments to share with you some of the reviews and comments that we had from some of the participants. Um, all very positive. We had a just about a, uh, a full house, about 22-some people showed up from several different churches in the, uh, um, the lower southwest area of uh, Ohio. Um, did you have fun? Yes. Um, really enjoy the expert tips about uh, body gestures, body language, and uh, techniques, uh, helpful tips on being a stronger team member, because one of the things I emphasize about, especially in this group, which was uh, church security teams, um, just emphasizing uh, the need to start working together as a team. And in, in my case, I'm definitely encouraging people to work uh, together in teams of two um, or three, depending on the situation that they might be dealing with. Uh, you're doing a wonderful job, thanks. Do I feel confident? Yes. Uh, did you have fun? Yes. Presentation was perfect and informative. I learned a lot. Um, in reference to my role players and scenarios, they were very good in their role playing and the advice that they gave because uh, my instructor role players, all former police officers I used to work with, after we get done with a particular scenario, which is roughly about three inches, uh, <laughs> uh, three minutes long, there's about a four or five minute critique phase where uh, we kind of go over what was done right. Everyone does something uh, correctly. Um, always want to give some affirmation and reinforcement of what's being done correct. And then we talk about some of the things that could have been tweaked and done a little bit differently. Because again, there's a lot of things that people say or do that they don't realize could be escalating a situation. Uh, do you feel more confident? Yes. Um, I, I like everything that you've done. Uh, would not change anything about the program. Uh, yes, I had fun. Excellent information. Kept my attention. Uh, with the stories and experience. Um, oh, and this is actually from a, a current police officer in Ohio. Uh, and this is really good and very encouraging and motivating when you get, uh, you know, we all want to be accepted by our peers. So when I have, um, and so far, every former and current police officer that has gone through my training program has just had a blast and it pulled me aside and said that, uh, that they really enjoyed it. Uh, so again, uh, Comments to the instructor from this police officer. Excellent information. Kept my attention with stories um, and experience. Uh, role players very well uh, in their roles and uh, did, a, did a great job with excellent critiques and ideas. Uh, enjoy scenario-based training. Talking is great, but you'll learn more by being put in this situation. Thank you. Uh, excellent course. And uh, this one uh, lady, I'm a, a church secretary and found all the situations and scenarios very believable. Uh, do you feel more confident? Yes. Uh, I was uncomfortable going into the scenario training, but it really helped me learn uh, the most and evaluate how to improve. And that's really uh, one of the, the um, uh, goals for the training program is to give people something to think about when they leave um, and to just be processing uh, what to do uh, if that bad day ever came. Um, did you have fun? Yes. Comments from the instructor. A uh, great mix of uh, content between lecture and uh, real-life examples. Uh, the role players, scenarios, instructors were awesome. The scenarios really caused me to think through how to handle real-life situations. Do you feel confident? Yes. Uh, the lecture was good, and it was a great setup for the scenarios. The scenarios were challenging and insightful and added an invaluable component to the training. Uh, do you feel comfortable? Yes. Confident? Yes. Do you feel had fun? Yes. Um, comments for the instructor, it was great, uh, like that, uh, like that it started on time, very important. Um, my team and I actually left at three in the morning to drive down the Tip City, Ohio from Michigan, um, and, uh, we started on time at nine o'clock in the morning. Info was very interesting and informative. Everything was excellent. Really like the scenarios, role playing, very helpful. Thank you. Do I feel confident? Yes. Did you have fun? Yes. Uh, comments from the instructor. John did a great job. He had a great demeanor and relayed the info in a casual way. The instructor role players, great acting and, and very creative. Excellent critiques. Do you feel confident? Yes. I've been to a lot of police training that at most uh, often were mediocre at best. Great job today. There you go. That's a nice, nice pat on the back there too. Did you have fun? Yes. Um, for the notes for the instructor, excellent points and great stories. Lots of notes taken to share with my security team at my church. Uh, we will be sure to be practicing. Comments for the instructors, very real. It's what really cemented the training firmly in my brain. Different personalities and well represented it. 
and and that's you know I have four different dynamic realistic scenarios for people to go through um, and depending on the workshop that you go through I, I switch off my role players uh, my instructors depending on this on, on with different scenarios so it's always you may go through the same scenario three or four times but it may be a different instructor so the personalities the dynamics everything will be very different just like in real life um, do you feel confident yes do you did you have fun yes um, I think everything was good. The scenarios and the role playing helped me best by being able to to go hands on, and that's really the biggest thing that I try to emphasize. You cannot learn anything or become very proficient or or, or efficient at anything without actually going hands on and practicing something. Uh, one thing I point out all the time: you can read all about how to hit a baseball, watch all the how-to videos, read all the manuals, but until you step up to the plate and develop for yourself that sense of closing speed with that ball coming at you, develop your eye-hand coordination, develop your swing. Um, it just becomes theory until you actually step up, like driving a car. Until you step into a car and strap it on what can and, and determine for yourself what you can and can't see in the mirrors or determine for yourself how much pressure to put on the brake pedal or the gas pedal. You know, you can read all about, well, 100 feet from the stop sign or um, you're supposed to start applying the brakes to come to a complete stop. Well, in real life, what does 100 feet look like when you're, when you're approaching at 25, 35 miles an hour? You see, there's, there's a very big gap between what you read and watch on videos until you're actually in that situation. And that's why I'm a big proponent of realistic, dynamic scenario training. You can read all about hand, how to handle a, a, a rude, loud, obnoxious person, but until you're in that situation dealing with it, it's all theory. So I look forward to seeing you and maybe your team and staff at our next training um, workshop. We'll have a blast.